Hello, it's March, it's springtime, and in this video, John's going to show you how to prune a gooseberry bush. We've got ours in a pot, but obviously the technique is still the same if you've got yours in the ground. Hello, welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. John's been teaching horticulture professionally for over 30 years now, and on this channel, we're hoping to help you develop your gardening skills. Whether you're new to gardening and would like some advice on propagation, pest control, growing some vegetables, or whether you're a seasoned horty who could always use some extra advice and new tips. If you like the sound of that, please have a look around our channel. Do consider following us. Just push the subscribe button. There's no charge. And don't forget to ding the all important notification bell. That lets you know every time we upload a new video. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at pruning gooseberries. Well, I've got this one, which is growing conveniently in a pot, so which means I can put it up on the table and we don't have to bend down and you can hopefully see what I'm doing a bit better. It's, it's March. Uh, the, it's just breaking bud, so it, it's time to do it. Um, you could do it a bit early, you could do it right you know, end of the winter if you wanted to. Now it's not too late though, because we're not going to be taking a, a tremendous amount of growing material away. This one's actually one uh, called Leveller, or which is a uh, dessert gooseberry, which is one of those lovely ones you can eat straight off the bush. It seems very unusual for a gooseberry, doesn't it? Because they're normally a bit tart, but uh, I, I do like this one for that reason. Now this, this plant was given to me, it's been put far too close to other plants and consequently it's growing very upright, which is not what we want, we want it to be more open. The more open it is, the more air can get into it, the more light can get into it, which means then you'll get more fertilisation, you'll get more fruit and it means the fruit will, will ripen, ripen much better if it's getting the sun into it. So it's been a bit neglected in more ways than one, it's been Look as though it's just had the tips hacked off as well. So we're going to go around and, and get this one sorted um, from, from scratch. Well, when, when you start pruning, the first thing you look for is anything that is dead, diseased or dying. And I, I think most of this is, a, is, is doing something. That piece there is a bit useless, so I'm going to take that off very low down, right down there, so that uh, that gets that out of the way. There's nothing on that one at all. And there's one here, I think, which is actually, it's come right away already, so that's not a lot of good. Um, so we've now got all the, uh, the dead out. Now, before I go and, uh, and trim it around the outside, I'm going to try and open this one up. As I said before, I think it's been put too close to other plants and it's going straight up and it needs to be opened. So they talk about an open bowl shape um, and you certainly need to get air into the middle. So here, to open it up, well, it always helps to take out old wood if you're going to open up a plant, because that, taking out the old wood will then stimulate new, new young growths. Uh, there's a nice fresh growth coming there, you see all the new growth on that one. But this one, although it's got lots of growth, look how congested it is up here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go down as far as I can, but it often pays to start at the top and work down. I mean, this is far too close together here. This is old wood, so I'm going to take that back to there just to start with, so that I can see what's left. <laughs> Doesn't make much of a difference just taking out that, does it? So there's still more to come out from the middle here. Um, look for crossing over congested areas. Um, in fact, here I've got this one looking quite good. This is an old one again. Um, that one might be all right, but I'm going to take this one down to here now so that I can let more light and air in down there. It's a bit tough this wood, it's an old plant. There we are, so you can see now it's, it's opening up quite nicely, isn't it? Um, in fact, this one here is going through the middle and I'm going to take him now down to there. And that's, that's looking a lot happier, isn't it? Uh, now we have Got this one which is growing right through the middle, which is not what it's required. So that one's going to go back. I'm taking it back quite tight because I don't really want to encourage growth that way. Um, this one's coming up doing not a lot of good, so that one's going out low down. So now I think, oh, hang on, that one's crossing over a bit as well. So it's either that one or that one. I think that one needs to come down there. Cut it tight to the to the branch means you don't get new new growth. In fact, I'm going to take that one out as well to let even more light and air in. So there we are. Now we've got a 
much healthier looking bush. You know, in normal pruning of gooseberries, you take, take out, uh, uh, as well as the middle, you take out two or three shoots back down to, to keep it within size. This one, as I say, it's been growing up quite well. So I'm going to actually take a, a little go a bit tighter than that. Uh, the, the, <laughs> when, when you get a shoot like this, look at which way the, the shoots go. You know, that was going out that way. I don't want it to go that way, do I? I want it to go that way. So I cut back. It's not too tight. You're just just above that that cut. I've cut it just above that shoot. I've cut it so that there's a slight. A piece of wood there to stop it rotting. I've also cut it at an angle so the rain will drain off that way not going to the wood and that one will grow on quite nicely and those will come as well. So working my way around this plant this one here is going out a bit so um, not an awful lot of good, sh good shoots on that one. Well, there's a nice green one there and that one's going out that way so I'm going to take that one down to there. This shoot is growing out here and that one's going up that way but I want it to make a nice open shape so I'm going to take it back to that well I could actually choose any of these shoots but I'm going to take it back to that one one two three back and then I cut it off there see at an angle so there we are that's nicely done now that one can stay as is because that's growing outwards this one here and bring that back to that one there um, when it's when it's got established after a, you know, after a, a year or two, I don't need to cut it back quite so hard. But this one has really been neglected, and I'm trying to uh, revigorate, invigorate it. Uh, take that little stub off. You see, there's just a stub there with nothing on it. Just tidy that up. Off he comes. And then up here, I'm going to cut this one back to that outward-facing bud. That bud's going to grow that way, so I'm going to cut him off like that. That all right? Same with that one. That will encourage that one to go out that away. Uh, and then coming up the up the uh, up the tree here, up the plant here. I mean, um, I've got some nice growth there, nice growth there, and nice growth there, and a congestion here. So again, I think this needs to come right out there to let the light and air in. Looking a lot better already, isn't it? Um, really, often you find when you want an outward growing shoot it's not there so what I'm going to do is take that one off to, that one's going that way which is not quite where I want it to come towards me but I'll take it that way and hopefully um, it'll grow out towards the light so let's just twist the thing around a little bit more so I can see what we're doing if you, if you look at that piece of wood coming out there look how congested that one's growing going right around itself so we'll take that out to let that one uh, open up Yeah, so now that one will, 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 will grow away much, much better. Oh, I've forgotten this one. This one's coming out and it looks as though it's going over ground. You can actually layer that one if you wanted to. But I don't think you want to layer it, so we'll just take it off uh, very low down. Yeah, that's looking a lot healthier. And it'll, uh, you can see it's opened up. Perhaps if we put up a before and after shot, you'll be able to see exactly what we've done. But yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's a nice, uh, nice job. And... Uh, Look forward to getting some uh, gooseberries later on. Let's just step up there. there you are. Thanks so much. We do hope that helped you. And if you did like that and would like to follow us, do push the subscribe button. There's no charge. Push the all important notification bell. That lets you know every time we upload a new video. Thank you so much for joining us here in Somerset. We very much enjoyed having you. Enjoy the rest of your week. Until next time.